I'm Gina O'Daniel and welcome to this week's episode of Brand Talk where we will be talking everything related to your business branding, marketing, and website. Today's topic is all about websites and why in today's business it's so important to have one. Here's a fun fact. O'Daniel oh, Design started designing websites 17 years ago. Wow, that is a long time ago. Back then, in the caveman days of internet, where we all heard the sounds of dial-up connection, just to get online, not all businesses had a website presence, and if they were online, generally, they were sending their viewers and their people that wanted to purchase products to their brick and mortar storefront to buy their products. Thank goodness for the evolution of the web. Today's businesses not only have a website, but their website needs to work for them, attracting viewers, potential customers who are not only at their desks, but on the go making immediate purchases. Ah, I see some of you are skeptics out there. I know who you are. I've heard it when you thought I wasn't listening, telling your friends, I don't need a business website. I have Facebook. Or here's another one for you. I just need to throw something together. One of those free assembly sites. A website isn't important to me. I don't have time for it. I hear your argument and come back to you with this question. How is that working for you? No longer can you throw something together made of clip art and spinny things to attract clients. Facebook should not be a substitution for your website. One important factor is it's free, and free is free, and you get what you pay for. You have no control when the company decides to change their platform, take away offerings, or move everything around. Remember the shift from sidebars to covers, and what a headache that was for you? So, you ask, but I don't have time to keep up with yet another thing. What type of website should I have? My answer to you is simple. Create a website that works best for you and your business with your target market in mind. In other words, you will need to sell items from your website. Do you want to blog? Do you want people to sign up for mailing lists to do push notifications to them? Help your website help you. Your website is your online business home. It should work for you and you should be in the driver's seat. Your website is an evolving entity of your marketing. Start where you can. Even if for now it's an informational static website and build upon it. After all, your company's evolving and growing and so should your website. It is your online salesperson that should be working for you 24-7. And now it's time for a little Q&A. Today's question comes from Susan and she asks, Is it important to have a strategy when setting up my website? Well, Susan, my answer is definitely yes, and this is a tweetable. It is important to define your goals of your website before you start designing your website. Think about who or what will be your focus of your website. How will you want people to feel when they are visiting your website? And what actions do you want them to take when they are on your website? Remember, your website is your online home. Your marketing should drive people to your website to learn more about you, giving them enough information to help them make a buying decision. After all, there is no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's, There's no place like home. I would love to hear from you. What did you think of our video? What would you like to hear about in the future episodes? Visit our comment section on our blog at odanieldesigns.com. So go there now and leave a comment. If you like this video and want to see more, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And if you want even more helpful tips, tricks, and tidbits, head over to odanieldesigns.com and sign up for our newsletter, Top Results. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Brand Talk.